Hello everyone, and welcome back to La Molena 2. I'm Ran Yekuma, that is here to possibly watch me suffer as usual, which I'm already Stop doing. I decided to just change the outfit every episode, just start rotating it. As you can see, it even changes her uh, sprite. It was pretty nice, I think. Kinda. Maybe. Yeah, you had a prime opportunity for something something change blindness there. Oh uh, yeah. Whoops. You did a thing. Well that was just hurricanes. And nearly shurikens. The cool looking well up above didn't bunch an inch. Even with my awesome strength, I guess I need to use my head to get past get past it. <laughs> I should have headbutted it. No, that probably would have uh, Spark you, sap you, whatever. Beware, fools who thoughtlessly harm the holy relics held within will suffer the divine wrath of the blue eye. Oh, great, that's back. Yep. But you might notice, once you solve the puzzle, the blue eye closes so that you know it's safe now. Yeah. I finally make my way into ruins that look like they'd have treasure, and the first thing I do is almost get hit by a trap. I don't think the medicine I have will be of any help. Damn. I really should have made an out of the trap that did my in. Do not approach. Do not attempt to grasp that which cannot be reached by your hands. I think that's the threat that did him in. Not sure. But... yeah. Just use the tool you were just given, right? Hmm. Go figure. Sijin, would you not hear my final wish as I lay here on my deathbed? Please release my husband, accused of crime. He is being subjected to punishment by continuous exposure to poisoned water. As I have become unable to keep the poisoned water from him, he suffers it. He is trapped in the room below the statues of the three goddesses. Poisoned water drips down from the beast statue hung above his head. Please help him. That's an interesting deathbed. Well, that was fast. Oh boy. That's a treasure called the Nankyul. It can destroy the Ang where the Guardians sleep. The Guardians are big as scary as monsters and ruins. Eglana is a ruin, which means there are Guardians in Eglana too. These guys are hardcore, so wait prepared before you go pick in a fight. No oh, shit. You, you can open the codex on that one? That one? Sijin is the wife of the trickster, who was condemned to be slowly showered with continuous drops of poison. She tried to alleviate his suffering by collecting the drops in a container. But as years went by, her body began to wither, and now she can no longer visit her beloved husband. Also, yeah, she's literally being bound in stuff. Hmm. Oh yeah, by the way, the glossary just has separate tasks for every region, that's why yeah. this is so short. Yeah, I already noticed. What's that round sigil like then? Wonder if you need something special to work it. Oh yeah, just look up there. Yeah, I saw it when you walked in. Well, whoever designed this place really had the same sensibilities as uh, the Giants and the rest of La Malana's construction crew. These ruins are full of mysteries. Moving forward, I'm going to leave the cryptic mumbo jumbo for later. Didn't think I'd move all the way forward for the next life to the next life though. Also, this room is called Dark Star Lord's Footprint. 
And I'm gonna take a screenshot of it. Yeah, those symbols are um, awful stuff. Mm -hmm. The path protecting the Beast Goddess segment is protected by five mantras, the path woven by five mantras. We need mantras already. Words written on the mural will turn to Victor Scan. Try using specialized software. Yup, even that's already here. Mm -hmm. This is Earth's Root, a path guarded oh, by the Black easy. Dragon Nidhogg. The road to the land of the dead. You know, TMA was a month of a pain in the ass. I can only imagine how annoying Nidhogg's gonna be. I gotta get higher up. Looks like the roads are above here. There's gotta be something there. Oh yeah, we're back here. But this time we're going here. And here. Oh look! The area with the three goddess statues, huh? Yeah. The goddesses looked upon those wielding power and wept. They looked upon those wielding weapons too and wept. When the goddesses weep, the spring shall run dry, marking the beginning of the end for Yggdrasil. So we have to make the goddesses weep by wielding, by wielding weapons. Also, that's weird, I feel like there should be a mechanism for this around here somewhere. No shit, also, get out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that dropped a block from up here, so it opened that path there. Mm. So there's another goddess statue there, huh? The beast. Weep! Oh, look! The wall run dry. This is Verdandi's route, the path to those who have dwelled in this land since ancient times. Also, I tried to clean a Corristine of one shirt, and this was the only weather around. I am not a clever man. No shit. In case you're wondering, yes, weather is still poisonous. That gate is the same as the one you used to enter Eglana. It can't be opened without a race possessing the mother's memories, and some sort of power related to the mother. It seems it can also be opened by undoing some kind of mechanism, so you'll have to use your head. Well, that's closed, and I definitely can't jump that much. How do you get in the, into the room back there? I guess you got to just grab onto the column and take a leap of faith. Haha, <laughs> what am I, a ninja? Yeah, we're gonna have to come back once we have the grapple claw. That's true. The path from the roots blocked a Jigdrasil gate. Beyond the ancient land of origin, the icefire tree top. The land of ongoing war warfare, the immortal battlefield. The land where the future of the Yggdrasil was set, Anovin. I think that's how it's pronounced. <laughs> mm, I don't know. Yeah, we've been up one of the routes. Let's go check on the other, shall we? Hmm. I get the feeling we need to hit two more statues. Maybe. A shortcut, can they not? Eh. The trickster sealed by the goddesses, who invites the world's end, shall be cursed to an eternity of poison. And we're trying to release this guy. <laughs> and we don't got to, but it'd be a polite thing to do. It would be difficult to finish the game otherwise.
Yo, what's with that janky 3D movement? Oh, nope. hello. Nope. <laughs> oh, you just nope. Yeah, l luckily we can just leave the room. <laughs> there's some really amazing beasties out there. There's there's these things called room guards that protect the more important rooms in DC rooms. Taking them out might get you somewhere or something nice, but you need to get your strength up before taking down the big bad ones. You'll need a lot of HP, tough weapons, stuff like that. Also confidence. Technically you can just beat him with like 50 shurikens and a lot of patience, but I'm not gonna do that right now. Instead I'm gonna go up here. School's route continues toward the future. Ratatoskor now on the roots before heading to the roof Triton. Ratatoskor, huh? A seal unlocked by four sigils. Sometimes they seal a path, sometimes power. Yeah, it is kind of young. Also, hello there. Oh shit. Uh, how much progress did I miss? Yes. I love it. Like the entire session. Oh well, I don't need to explain it anymore, so it might be a bit faster. Not for what you cannot grasp with your hands. Or some shit like that. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Look, it's been a while. I didn't expect to start dying so quickly. <laughs> oh yeah, we didn't actually check down here, did we? running away from some biggest monsters and ended up, ended up here. If you can't beat an opponent, you can come back after you've gotten stronger, right? I am be dust and bones, but I won't give up, mom. Uh-huh. Yeah, good luck with that. Money! Hey, you can always try next uh, next life, right? Yeah. Now it is unsealed with Jigdra Seal by Mantras. Jigdra Seal leads they who can harness the ten mantras. This is the holder of the jet to the end. Cryptic. So, hello. Shortcuts are nice. Yeah. What's up with the stone tablet? It just has some meat written on it. No hands, come on, give me a break here. The Elf Seer's Prophecy Part 2 Goddesses live in the roots of Yggdrasil Three goddesses who spin time The time-spinning goddesses keep the roots of Yggdrasil watered 
The spring is forever protected to keep Jigrasil alive. O oh, three goddesses protectors of Jigrasil, don't let the squirrel ratatoso get away. No place it visits is to be missing. The followers of the black dragon need hope that the water has run out shall read Cresswell Girl in the treetops. You might notice that this area has quite a bit of Nordic mythology. Yeah, you think? Ratatoskor, why? HP, question mark, so question mark. <laughs> a monster that resembles a huge squirrel. It seems to have lived in Eglana since ancient times and is thought to have originated there. Ratatoskor will appear in various places, but its true form lies dormant in another part of Eglana. Ratatoskor's it's, it's... strength is limited when it, when it is physically further away from its true form. It's, it's just squirrel. It's, it's just, it's just a squirrel version of Kulu Yaku. Sure. Might as well. The fuck's a guild do? Will alert user to hidden shops or, or rooms. Useful. Yeah. I mean, I technically don't need it, but... You know. Oh yeah, we have diagonal stairs now. Oh, skeletons keep, keep getting to drop on me, so I tried punching one on the ground to be safe. If I become a skeleton, am I gonna get safety punch too? No, you're gonna get safety whipped. Past the roots of Yggdrasil lies an oven. The kingdom of the fairies who have foreseen the future of this world. So that's where the that's where the Tanya came from. The keys to to secrets tend to be kept secret. Would have dunk it, but don't take that to mean that you should go around recklessly hitting walls like me. Well, you know, hitting the walls with mirror scans has blasphemy. Take this advice from me. A man on his way out. Goodbye. Yeah, don't hit that thing over there. No shit. The eye would uh. Take offense to that. Yeah, you could say so. You just oh my, we'll mode that fucker. Soul gate, a gate sealed by guardian souls. The gate can apparently be opened by defeating the number of guardians marked on it. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. so, that's what's known as a soul gate. It's somewhat different from what was in La Mulana. The light above the gate represents the number of souls. I think it means it requires the soul of some sort of guardians possessing immense power. Yeah, we'll get to that. Take note of the branches growing from Jigrasil. The air is branching off beyond the gate. Those who fight and those who protect alike are sealed within. So, have you noticed the background on all of the tablets in Jigrasil? Yeah. It's literally a symbol for the juice, for the roots of Yggdrasil. Yeah. They are backwards. The tree is literally growing downwards. On the branches past this land lies the fortress governed by the ruler Odin and his company. The fortress was built by we of the Aesir tribe in order to unseal the Vanir who sought to destroy our mother, our lands. The gates are sealed by guardians. Yo, uh, about about the mother. Think about that. Tribe, Locopala, Sixth Child. There was once a member of Odin, the group ruling over Aesir. Now he has lost his authority and, the, and serves as a as gatekeeper of the Divine Fortress. That's got two big letters, which means it's a title for something. Hmm. Bust of Mimir. 
A god of wisdom in ancient Norse mythology, beheaded by the Vanir. His severed head lives on through Odin's magic, said to be highly wise, and that encanting in front of the boss will trigger a response. Only we can do that yet. The golden rock stores the power of the stars. Oh, so that's why a bunch of bodies were lying around here. You only live once, that's why I made the trick out here. Never realized what it really means. Never thought, never thought that could be so educational. Word to the wise, don't destroy the column. Let's not destroy the column. Instead of that, let's go quickly activate the two statues we already oh have. God. Oh, come on. Had to land right there, huh? And what were you good going good going about? Uh Well partially it's just how can these guys be so cheery about dying? I mean if you're already dead, you got nothing to worry about. Oh yeah, by the way, it's kinda it, it, uh, possible to notice it, but that there's a, a drop to, uh, floor as well. Mm. That's why I'm jumping over it. <laughs> Good eye. Yeah, the Mulana twist, but fairer and also more merciless in that it's more punishing, but at least you can technically see the traps mm -hmm. coming. <laughs> Just wanna see if I can use this as a... Oh, missed it. Oh well. That's a bit of an amusingly yank 3D. Mm. Bye, Nidhogg. Bye, Nidhogg. Let's go Fuck heal before... Let's go heal before we fight Ratatoskur again. That's a good idea, yeah. Yeah, at least that way we will have saved. I don't have to do all that shit all over again. Eh, why not? Is there any point in that? Maybe, maybe not. You'll never know. Hey, do you have something new to say? Hey there, you, you scored the hand, hand scanner, huh? Without that, there isn't much you can do. You can use the hand scanner for stuff like reading tablets and inspecting. Yeah, yeah, we know. What you're saying is, as long as this Eglana is around, it's so dangerous to allow to it, Damn! 
And he's got a few lines. Oh, what a lamb will I like Neville? No, I can't really think of anything for it. Just that the main character would die on pretty much every page. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he ain't wrong. Indeed. <laughs> All right. Let's go get our asses kicked. I'm not gonna bother the going back down yet. Because I know we might die here. I just have to remember the pattern better. Well, so meant to speak. The spice up there. Mm. Oh. Okay, I think I'm remembering the pattern better. If I get hit once, I'm kinda... <laughs> He ain't done yet. Mm hmm. School's road. Okay, yeah, we have already read that. There's that, but we can't open it yet either, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, hello there. You look different, don't you? This carbungal has been mutated by the dissonance permitting a clana. It can unleash the true power of the jewel in its forehead. Those who stand before its gaze will surely perish. Yeah, I did kinda hit it from behind. Hmm. Oh yeah, by the way, you can just do this. Literally just crash on did its shot. Alright, right that one too. One and that one. I already took a screenshot of that. Mm, not sure if I, if I opened that uh, face. Better make sure, right? Yeah. 
Alright, let's go save. Um, go save the trickster. God damn it. <laughs> no one. It's faster this way. We did just save after all. So yeah, that's open now. Hello, trickster. Now this is more mythology. Who do you know that's called Trickster? Loki. Let's release Loki! <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? That! Better! That's an ankh! A guardian of these ruins is still inside. Using an ant jewel in front of the ant will release the guardian. If you don't have an ant jewel yet, go find one. Make sure you're prepared for battle. Eh, what could possibly go wrong? It's just a fierce boss, right? You think you got your ass empty by a squirrel? Time for the badass boss music. Because we're gonna get quite a few of them now. Fafnir. I don't think that's what Fafnir is supposed to be. Specifically, no, I'm pretty sure Fafnir does not. That I'm pretty sure that is not Fafnir. But okay, Lama Lana. And that's why I was saving my shurikens instead of using them on Nidhogg. <laughs> Didn't this guy with just the whip is uh, a bit harder than Amphisvena from the first game? Hmm. <laughs> I can Especially since he's getting faster. He's also getting more attacks. Yes. Yes, it is. You stood there for that one. I tried to hit it. Well, shit. Well, I guess at least I get to show off one thing. Fafnir having none of your shit. It sounds so right about here instead. Hmm. Well, at least that's helpful. Ready. Sure to be on this side this time and not try to get smart about shoot 
about hitting it from behind. Because the whip does in fact do more damage on the shurikens. safe there we go just barely Congratulations, you have obliterated Fafnir, but the adventure continues! Ooh, chest! Crystal Skull acquired. Is that a Crystal Skull that you just got? I have heard that the ones left in Lamunana have been stolen. And you wonder by who. This might be different from the ones in La Molena. I'd like to look into it, so bring it to me when you have the time. Okay. The easiest way to do so will be just... Dropping right down from here. Shortcuts! Gotta love them. Also, there's a... Uh, that, that shape right over there. <laughs> Can't get to it yet. Hey, you made it back. That's all fine and well, but please show me the crystal skull. Come on, quickly. Hmm. It's, a sh it's shaped slightly different from the ones in La Mulana. Let me hold on to it for a while. I want to look into this. Okay. Do you want to know how much a while is? Now. Yeah, I figured. Probably expected players to, you know, go actually do stuff. Yeah. The crystal skull you lend me is pretty interesting. It seems as though there are 12 of these in total. Among the materials I was researching was something called the 12 seal inscriptions. Apparently, the various seals can be broken in accordance with the number of scores in your possession. Anyway, I've digitalized those research materials. I don't know what's written in them, though. I mean, they were sealed, so... Let's go, acquire. So now, to hear the wise, wise words of the Anunnaki, aka the extraterrestrials. Words of Nebiru. Ye of weak and dumb body, who holds this call in hand, hear our mind fulfill our will. Oh, though we are now, why do we crumble so? Unable to come down to this land of the puny. We shall impress upon this world at least our will. Noble, huh? Noble and wise aliens. Also, Quirvok. Alright, the shopkeeper. Quirvok seems like a lively merchant, but has the eyes of someone who wouldn't say no to murder. He claims the puppet on his table side const contains a soul of his own taking. He thinks of himself as a pretty stand-up gentleman. Right. So are all six children just nuts? The Locapala especially are also... I don't remember which, who else was from the six children, but... The Locapala tend to be rather raidery. Oh, so can we talk about whatever it is she's doing when you pause? Oh, this? 
She's making sushi. <laughs> and out cold. Just like her father. Yep. Also because we need... Because there was one thing we absolutely forgot to read with our hand scanner that we definitely should have done in the first episode. Let's go check on that before we close the episode. Research mode, hosting, effects, recover head, rheumatism, curry addiction. Okay, anyway. I hope uh, you have fun and we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Laters. <laughs>